Hey, it's me, Tommy. So people ask me often what light they should buy, and then I usually respond, what's your budget? Uh, depending on what your budget is, I can recommend a different light. But I think a better question to ask, or rather for me to give you an answer to, is how much money should you be spending on lights? And why I can justify spending as much as I did on the Titan X2. The rental kit with the flight case and the barn doors and it's it's not a cheap kit it's roughly a six thousand dollar kit that i purchased they did give me a discount because of my relationship with them uh, but i did still spend thousands of dollars i was using two different lights one for hard light and one for soft light that was a large lensed panel and a large soft panel and switching those fixtures out cost me time every time i wanted to switch those fixtures I had to take one down, put the other one up, get it configured and set up. And that just takes time. Clearly, I don't need to buy more lights. I've got more lights than most professionals. In fact, I have more lights than some rental houses. My true justification for spending any money on my YouTube studio is I want to save time because I have such a limited amount of it to work on video content. The Titan X2 goes from soft to hard with a matter of twisting a dial on the back and it has a percentage of soft and hard. That's super useful to me. It's two fixtures built into one. And the two fixtures that I was swapping between was a $3,000 fixture and a $2,500 fixture. The Titan X2 with the whole rental kit costs about the same. So for me, it just makes sense to use the Titan X2 in my studio and that instead of those two other fixtures. And so that's why I bought the Titan X2 is it's it saves me time. And of course, I've already reviewed the Titan X1, which is why I determined the Titan X2 was a good investment. Now, my formula for how much you should spend on lights, how much money have you spent on cameras and lenses, you should have an equivalent value of lights if you want to achieve optimal image quality before deciding if you want to buy a new camera body or buy more lights. And I think it's totally fair. So if you spend $2,000 on your camera and lens, you should have $2,000 in lights. But if you then in the future sell that camera off and upgrade to some other type of camera system, that doesn't mean that you need to go buy another $2,000 of lights. You've already got $2,000 of lights. Those lights will retain their usefulness in terms of your, in, in terms of their value. The lights will last significantly longer than most cameras that you can buy. Cameras are being recycled out very, very quickly. Now, what lights you actually buy with that budget is up to you and it depends on what type of videos you're shooting, if they need to be rainproof, if they need to represent accurate skin tones, if they need full color capability, if they need to be able to be wirelessly controlled, if they need to have super durable build quality, or if they need to be super lightweight because they're gonna be hoisted overhead, uh, or if they can be controlled with a ballast that hangs down at eye level, or if they have DMX controls, or if they can be battery powered. There's a lot of different things that go into deciding what kind of light should you buy. Between the three Sony a7S III's and all my lenses, we are looking at about, I don't know, I wanna say around $15,000 of camera and lenses and stuff that I've collected here for my studio. And that's roughly what I'm lighting myself with right now. And of course, if I sell one of these cameras and go get a different camera, that doesn't mean I need to go buy another $15,000 of lights. I've already got the lights. So if this was your camera set, uh, the A7S III is about 3,500, so that times two is about 7,000. Then you've got the Sigma 24 to 70, that's another thousand. And the probe lens, the Cine, Cine probe lens is another 1,800. So with just this kit here, you're looking at about a $10,000 light kit that you should have. Now, again, if you did pick the probe lens, the individual choice boils down to, did you actually get it with a Sony A7S III? because you can probably still get away with the same lighting kit that you're gonna be using with the 24 to 70 because the A7S III in particular has really good ISO performance at 12,800. You can get away using the same lighting package. But if you have any other camera, that $10,000 is gonna to go towards high quality, high intensity lighting because the probe lens is a very, very, uh, it's a very dark lens. The widest aperture 
is f14. So you need a ton of light to make this thing work with most cameras. But if instead of the probe lens, you went and got something like a Cine 18 to 35 and an adapter, which would actually cost a little bit more, you're probably gonna wanna have more choices on what types of lights you have. Maybe a few full color lights to wash colors across your backgrounds or something like that. You're probably gonna wanna throw in some modifiers to make sure you can get that light really soft. There's, I mean, I did a whole video on what lights you can buy at what different budgets uh, based on my own experience. And since then, I recently just bought the Rotolite Titan X2 and it doesn't maybe seem like I need that much light. And I probably don't. I'm just filming YouTube videos in my home studio, but I enjoy talking about lighting and I want to achieve the optimal image quality for the cameras that I'm working with. And this doesn't apply to everybody. You know, documentary filmmakers that are on the go and they're out interviewing people on a you know cornfield or something. They need everything to fit in their backpack. They're probably going to spend most of their money on a versatile camera package, like maybe a, a C300 Mark III or a FX6 or something like that. And then maybe a couple of really small lightweight lights. That's different. You know, this doesn't apply to everybody. But as a general rule of thumb, that's kind of what I try to recommend. There you go. That's my video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs>